She says she became a wife at the age of 14 and was terrorized for years at the hands of Dances with Wolves actor Nathan Chasing Horse. 8 News Now investigator Vanessa Murphy has been breaking stories about the alleged sexual predator. And tonight, the woman whose story busted open several investigations is sitting down with Vanessa first. And we do want to warn you, the details in this report are of a sensitive nature. Um, my name is Corinna Leone. She is no longer Corinna Chasing Horse. I am one of the victims. No longer one of Nathan Chasing Horse's wives. That was my life. That was my life. And he took it from me. This is when the now 25 year old woman first met him at six years old while her family was going through a tough time. He welcomed her and her mother with open arms. I remember him walking in and like the way he filled up the door frame. And I remember thinking like, I remember being in awe of him. Chasing Horse is an actor mostly known for his role in Dances with Wolves. He's been traveling throughout the United States and Canada for at least two decades for native ceremonies and powwows. He also claims he's a medicine man and spiritual leader. He has this way of just making you feel like you're the most important person in the room when he talks to you. She says he became a father figure, but when she turned 14, that changed. It's not okay. And what happened there was rape and there's no other label to put on it. She says when she had gone to Chasing Horse to help heal her mother who was sick, he took her into a closet at his home for a private talk. He said, okay, well, the spirits are, are going to come and we're going to ask them and see what they say. He said her purity. I knew he meant my virginity. Would be the price. And he said, well, it's that where she doesn't get help. That's the last pure thing of you. That's the last good thing of you. She says she wanted to save her mother. So he had me take off my maxi dress and lay it under me. And it happened. She says he also gave her a pill, which she later figured out was plan B. And the sexual assault continued. It happened every night for at least a month until I was able to go back home with my mom. And then her ceremony finally happened. Did you tell anyone or? He said I couldn't. He said that it's a sacred secret between me and the grandfathers and if I told it would make her help go away. At 14, she says he privately made her a wife. At 16, he asked her mother, who was also part of his alleged cult known as the Circle, and her mom felt it was an honor. At 18, she says she moved in as his seventh wife and physical and verbal abuse escalated. She says he controlled where she went, who she talked to, and she recalls moments like these. There would be several times where I would wake up and he would be sitting on my bed waiting for me to wake up to start hitting me again. He would take me to those hotels and blindfold me and leave me in there and imply other men would come in and and I never knew who they were. I tried to kill myself. I didn't see another way out because to me, leaving was never an option because of my mom. What would happen if I left? Karenna says she finally did escape in late 2021 and she eventually made this Facebook post revealing her experience. It led to an investigation by Las Vegas Metro Police who raided his North Las Vegas home and arrested him in late January. He was indicted on 19 counts, including sex crimes against Karenna and another woman. To be able to say to my 14 year old self that something's being done, even if there's no guarantee, but that he was arrested, that he was in custody, that he had to at least present reasons why he had, he has to defend himself against what happened with you. State versus Chasing Horse. Chasing Horse's supporters are showing up in court, including his remaining wives and men referred to as his helpers. While Karenna says she has concerns about her safety, she still faced her alleged abuser. He's evil and he is manipulative and he is a narcissist. And he knowingly does what he does and he doesn't have any remorse for it. 
what he did, he knows what he did. Chasing Horse now also faces federal charges and there are warrants for him in Montana and Canada. He also has previously been banned from several native reservations. Despite allegations being made against him multiple times before, it appears he was never arrested until now. He was in the public eye and everyone knew and said nothing. Several other women have reached out to me to say they've also been victims of Nathan Chasing Horse or or they know other victims. And many of the stories seem similar, targeted during an especially vulnerable time in their lives, manipulated through spirituality. But there's a fear in coming forward. Karenna says she's sharing her story with us to help inspire others to come out of the shadows. I just, I wanna encourage them to not be afraid because this is bigger and this is more than just what happened to us and that this could be helping other little girls. Nathan Chasing Horse invoked his right to a speedy trial, which is set for May 1st. Karenna says she continues to try to cope with the trauma and repair both the mental and physical wounds from the man she once believed she loved. While I have the dark moments and I do struggle with it, at the end of the day, my unhappiest day out is still better than my happiest day in there. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now.